actually with Three Mile Island, nuclear power production in America lost the wind in its sails, and it solved its problem by exporting it. Now Japan is doing the same thing. They have a problem. The people, they've been off for two years. The people do not want them started. There's a drive to get them started because they can't sell them elsewhere if they can't prove that they work. So it, it's an industry in America. They're also developing small modular reactors. There's been a lot of research into that. It was just about to be rolled out on the market, and Fukushima happened. And those are little reactors you can put on a pickup truck <laughs> and radi radiate your neighborhood. <laughs> so the industry is hell-bent to continue its um, slurping at the trough. And we are the victims. We are the colonialized people who are just supposed to suck it up. Right. And they've written it into the, into the laws that if it goes bad or goes south, we get to, to pay the price. Mm -hmm. It's taxpayer money that's going to bail out TEPCO, already has in Japan, and it will here. More questions? Shoko. Um, Charles, uh, so you are representing those sailors, uh, 200, you said 50, yes. and, and, and uh, against TEPCO, and then those manufacturers, including American manufacturers yes. as a class action lawsuit. Yes. And what are you asking for the some kind of compensation or or uh, for medical or you, would you expect I would ex expect that uh, there are more victims yes. you know more and more will come up and what's your goal? Yes. In this the goal lawsuit is to establish a major fund mm -hmm. to take care of the health of these sailors and anyone else who was affected as a part of this class for generations to come because as these gentlemen <coughs> have explained once you're exposed to radiation it doesn't happen just to the first generation it keeps on happening the generation after it so uh, many of these radioisotopes they have chef lives of you know thousands of years so they're going to be around these radioactive particles so we want Tokyo Electric Power Company, GE, each of these uh, defendants to put in a billion dollars each into a fund to do medical monitoring, to figure out how to treat and cure not only this first generation of victims, but their offsprings and their offsprings. The wicked nature of, of um, radiation is that it causes genetic mutations. Yes. And indeed, it's passed on. You know, once the radio uh, isotopes get into the body, they can just stay there, and they can be, and they can cause these genetic mutations, and that can be inherited. And so, we expect the offsprings of these young sailors, the seventy thousand people who have been exposed, we expect that their offsprings, at least three or four, five generations down the road, will be affected. You see these ads on TV every day about uh, mesothelioma, the, the asbestosis-related illnesses. Well, these are people who were exposed back in the 40s and 50s who now are still having problems, and their offspring is <coughs> having this problem. And that's why you see there's an $18 billion fund to take care of the monitoring. We need something just like that for all of these United States sailors. The sailors are very important because they are always the first one to run into the disaster. They like the firemen. They are always all over the world going in to rescue someone from a disaster. And rather than uh, Tokyo Electric Power Company, which is a for-profit corporation, is now their major shareholder is the Japanese government now, but we're talking about a for-profit corporation just like General Electric. Rather than doing the right thing, by helping these young sailors, they are just fighting them and fighting them and trying to get their cases thrown out. Uh, I was just interviewed by some reporter about this case. He said, I want to interview you about this case and the current status of your lawsuit, uh, but you all have won, so do I have anything to worry about? Do I have to look over my shoulder if I do this story, if I publish this story? I said, yeah, you do. <laughs> Because trillions of dollars do not go away easily, you know? So, uh, but it's amazing that people are afraid uh, of, you know, to even do a story on this because they're afraid of these corporations. Yeah. 
military that came off of the uh, ship, that they had to sign waivers that they wouldn't sue. Did yes. you undo that, or? Yes, they, they, strangely enough, the Navy required them to sign waivers. Now, a, an active serviceman, by law, cannot sue the military. Mm -hmm. There was no reason for the military to have the sailors sign a waiver, because uh, there, there's, there's a law uh, the Ferris Doctrine that says that an active sailor cannot sue why the military. They, why do they do it? <laughs> why do you think? They want to protect... There are only two entities in this world that has an interest in nuclear power. That's governments and corporations. Mm -hmm. They do not want the word to get out that these sailors were indeed effective. Why? Because it's going to make the, us, the voters, scared of nuclear energy. And they want us to still think that this is safe. And it is not safe. So <coughs> many of our clients sign these waivers. We don't care about these waivers. You know, we, we're suing them anyway, and uh, those waivers are not going to help. But we're not suing the government. We're suing these corporations. Yeah. Thank you. Certainly. Yes. Uh, on, on that same one, who has the interest? Of course, energy policies are national security policies. Global warming's about to get really bad. I've been doing research on this and find that NATO intelligence, a lot of planning is going into using nuclear power as the global, global warming parachute. So trying to prevent people from getting hinky about nuclear power again yes. is a major military project for the future. But you know, you look at Germany, we were just in Germany a few weeks ago, uh, my partner there, Ilse and I, um, and Merkel is saying, no, no more nukes. And so you see solar energy panels all over the houses. People are really making effective use of alternative energy. And you, you recognize it everywhere you drive in Germany. Whereas here, you, it's still just a developing thought. It hasn't really caught on. But um, we have to keep pushing, just like we're doing right now. Green Party. Germany's got the strong Green Party. Yes, right? yes, right. Well, Chernobyl was a wake-up call, because once Chernobyl happened, people weren't able to even eat the vegetables out of, the, out of their gardens. Yeah. So I'm hoping that your lawsuit, if, when it succeeds, is going to um, make it easier for the people uh, who are suffering on the land from these uh, radiation uh, accidents to succeed in their bigger lawsuits, larger mm -hmm. lawsuits. And I'm hoping that your lawsuit is to set a precedent and maybe make the, the, an inroad so that the rest um, of us can move in forward and really weaken the industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it's our hope to educate the world to the dangers of this, uh, this way of, of creating energy. Uh, our class action is solely for these U.S. American sailors. It doesn't include anyone except that particular class. Uh, but, you know, we on radio, we're speaking all the time about the problem with this kind of energy. It's, it's not sustainable. You cannot afford to have an accident, and human beings will have accidents. And Fukushima is an example. You cannot have an accident with this kind of energy. Chernobyl is Three Mile Island. They all told us you can't do this. So yes, through the education system, this case hopefully will educate everyone to the dangers. Okay. <laughs> I think that's it. Thank you for your questions. Sure. Um, I want to thank everybody here for what you're doing. <laughs>